In this video, we're going to look at how a special sequence of numbers can create one of the best roulette systems I've ever seen. When done properly, this roulette strategy can have up to a 98.7% win rate. I'll explain how to achieve this later in the video. Now, the problem with this special sequence and the roulette strategy created from it is that many roulette gurus, as well as articles on the internet, are teaching this strategy completely wrong. The goal of this video is to correct those mistakes and improve your chances of winning at the roulette table dramatically. I'm going to need your help correcting the record, as for some unknown reason, the vast majority of players are following the terrible advice that's eating into their bankroll. When you've finished watching this video until the end, please share it with a friend. This divine numerical sequence I'm referring to can be found in hurricane formations, seashell patterns, and it's even found in the human body. Now, I'm not implying God plays roulette, but if he did, I think this is the betting system he would use. The fact that it's found all over nature, even in the formation of galaxies, implies this sequence has extra special powers. But you'll see in a moment how the majority of players waste this magical sequence on the wrong type of roulette bet and end up losing their money. Stay with me until the end as I'm going to explain how this divine sequence works, why you should ignore what most people do, what you should do instead, and additional strategies and considerations to increase your chances of winning. This sequence I'm referring to was identified over 800 years ago by an Italian mathematician named Leonardo Fibonacci. At the heart of the Fibonacci sequence lies a mesmerizing pattern. In this numerical wonderland, each new digit is the sum of the two that came before it. Technically, we start with zero and one, from there, the numbers cascade like falling dominoes. 0 plus 1 equals 1. Following the sequence, 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 plus 2 equals 5. And so the sequence dances on. Now, how does this captivating sequence translate into a gambling strategy? And what is it that so many roulette players do to mess it up? When it comes to messing this system up, it's all to do with what you're betting on but I'll explain more about that in a moment. First, let me explain how the Fibonacci sequence works in a gambling situation to guide our bets. In the Fibonacci system, each number in the sequence represents a betting unit. As the sequence can start to compound quickly in a short amount of time, my first recommendation is that you start with a table minimum bet. So for example, on a $5 minimum table, one unit would represent $5. At the beginning of the sequence, and every time you face a loss, advance one number to the right. However, when fortune smiles upon you with a win, reset to the beginning of the sequence. Continuing with our $5 minimum bet amount, here's what the Fibonacci system would look like in real money terms if we were to hit a losing streak of six bets in a row. $5, $5, $10, $15, $25, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
If we stop and review this sequence, we can see that in practically all but one situation, we're not going to win money using the Fibonacci sequence on the even chance bets. The entire functionality of the sequence is to add together the previous two numbers. Therefore, we're only ever going to win back our losses for the previous two bets. If we lose more than two bets in a row, we just can't win using this system. So what can we do to use this divine sequence on the roulette table? We simply change what we're betting on. We need something that pays higher odds than even money. What about if we implement this Fibonacci sequence on the column or dozen bets? These pay two to one, and we have a reasonable probability of hitting a winning number. Remember, this sequence grows exponentially when we lose, so we need to find a bet that shouldn't send us on a long and painful losing streak. These column and dozen bets paying two to one have a 32.4% probability of winning, and so they fit the requirements nicely. Let's run our Fibonacci system after losing six bets again, but this time we will use the middle column bet in our example. So going back to our sequence, we've already lost $100 and our next sequence bet dictates that we need to bet $65. Now with this bet paying two to one, if this bet wins, it's going to return $195, giving us $130 profit on that spin and a $30 profit when we consider our earlier losing bets of $100. Well, this is obviously miles better than the earlier strategy of using this sequence on the even chance bets. But let's not forget, we are less likely to win our column bet than we are to win our even chance bet on red. For that reason, let's extend our losing streak up to eight losses in a row and see how this roulette betting system holds up. So following the Fibonacci sequence, our bet wages look like this. 5, 5, 10, 15, 25, 40, 65, 105, giving us a total loss of $270. Following the Fibonacci strategy, our next bet is $170. Winning this bet would return $510, giving us a $340 profit on that spin, and therefore a $70 profit on the entire sequence. So amazingly, with the Fibonacci sequence, we actually end up making more profit the longer our losing streak becomes. Many of you will know that betting strategies like the Martingale, you'll end up winning the same amount of profit when you finally hit a winning number and the length of the losing streak is irrelevant. So the major question we need to be asking ourselves now is when does this betting strategy not work? What situation has to occur for us not to be able to win money? And how likely is that to happen? To work this out, we need to identify the table limits on the roulette table we're playing at. As I've picked a $5 minimum table in our example, the table maximum bet is probably going to be $500. It's pretty standard for casinos to offer between 100 to 1 or 50 to 1 ratio on their minimum and maximum bets. The bigger ratios they offer, generally speaking, is better for us as the player. I've spent a lot of time finding the best online casinos to play roulette at, depending where in the world you're from. If you complete the quick two minute quiz using the link in the description, you'll find the best online casino based on your preferences. So now that we've identified we're playing at a roulette table with $5 minimum and $500 maximum bets, let's find out how many losing numbers we would have to hit in a row before we hit the maximum bet. We can jump ahead to eight losses. I've already explained that the next bet is $170. Should that lose, we move to $275. And if that one loses, we're going to be at our last bet of $445. We're forced to have this as our last bet in the sequence as the next one goes over the table maximum bet. If we add all these together, this is a total amount bet of $1,160. So if you want to make sure you can follow this sequence all the way to the end, should you find yourself on a losing streak, you're going to need $1,160 to do it. Let's quickly make sure our final bet still brings home a profit after betting $1,160. $445 with a payout of 2 to 1 returns a total of $1,335, making our total profit $175 should we get this far along in the sequence. Okay, with that confirmed, 
How likely is it that we lose this many times in a row and end up needing to bet $445? Looking at our sequence, we would need to lose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and after our 10th loss, we would be betting $445, and therefore, we would need to lose 11 times in a row to lose our entire $1,160. Sounds like we'd have to get very unlucky to lose 11 bets in a row. But rather than relying solely on luck, let's do the maths. Betting on a column gives us 12 out of 37 numbers to win meaning that we have 25 out of 37 numbers that make us lose. As a percentage, this is 67.5%. So there's a 67.5% chance every spin that the ball will not land in one of our 12 winning numbers. What's the probability of the ball not landing in one of our 12 winning numbers 11 times in a row? To calculate this, we need to change our 67.5% into a decimal, which is 0.675, and multiply to the power of 11. The answer is 0.013, which as a percentage is 1.3%. In other words, there is a 1 in 75 chance we're going to lose 11 bets in a row and lose all of our money following this strategy. 74 out of 75 times, or in other words, 98.7% of the time, we are going to make money each time we attempt this betting sequence. And the further we get down the sequence, the more money we're going to make when a winning number lands. Now the obvious downfall to this strategy is that one in 75 times, we could lose our entire bankroll. For some players, a 1.3% chance of losing over $1,000 is still too risky. Well, if that's the case for you, why not implement this additional strategy on top of the Fibonacci system to reduce the probability of losing even more? If you sit patiently without making a bet, wait for a situation when a column or dozen hasn't won for the last five spins, then enter the game with your starting Fibonacci bet. It will now need 16 spins in a row without hitting that column for your Fibonacci system to fail. The probability of not hitting a particular column 16 times in a row is 0.0018, or as a percentage, that's 0.18%. That's a 1 in 555 probability of happening. So with a 99.82% probability of that not happening, this could well be the best risk to reward betting system I've ever seen. Now before you go and implement this yourself, you need to ask yourself a couple of questions. Number one, do I have the bankroll to follow this through? And am I playing at a table that allows me to follow this sequence all the way up to 10 or 11 losing bets? Number two, do I have the guts to stick with the math and continue to increase my bet every time I lose? If you've started with a $5 bet and find yourself betting $105 or $170, then you might start to lose your cool and abandon the system. But remember, as if by design, as scary as it gets the further down the sequence, the more profit you'll end up making when you hit your winning number. Make sure you're playing at a European roulette table with good minimum and maximum bet ratios. Why not use this roulette strategy with the casino's own money? You can do this by taking advantage of some of the great welcome offers available. Check out the link in the description to find the best casino to play roulette at. If this roulette strategy isn't for you, let me know why in the comments below. Perhaps you prefer this one instead. Don't forget to share this video with a friend to make sure they're not wasting their time using the Fibonacci system on even chance bets.